Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another 10 metal wands you haven't heard but should. I mean, there's a couple extra ones in here which we'll get to a bit later on, but let's get right into it. So first up we have Deadhead, which is some cult Dutch kind of death thrash. So if you're into the bands of the early days in the Netherlands, um, this is some really cool stuff, very old school sound. And this is the Petricot reissue, which um, I've kind of got a fucked up CD case on it because I ran out of uh, new ones, but um, they don't come like this. But yeah, you get the uh, Heartland, the Hortland, um, not quite sure how you say it in Dutch, album. And then you get a whole ton of bonus tracks, just a cool reissue, some classic old school Dutch thrashy death metal. Um, if you like kind of early pestilence, uh, aspects with a bit less of the doom, that kind of thing. Definitely think some of you guys will enjoy this. Next, we have Sarcasm with uh, their new album, Stellar Stream Obscured on Hammerheart. Um, I forgot which country this band's from. Um, taking a look at their names, I'm going to guess they're Northern European. Or, um, but anyway, that doesn't matter. What matters is there's some cool melodic death metal. Um, now, it's not overly poppy. It's not going to be kind of like really metal y kind of soft choruses. It's just a lot of focus on the guitar playing and uh melodic songwriting but it's you know it's still a heavy release it's very good um some kind of thrashy bits coming in coming in maybe it's um yeah it's, it's pretty different um it's cool hearing bands doing melodic death metal because it's a, i guess a sound that a lot of people aren't really too bothered about these days so it's cool seeing bands stick to it and not do it in a really lame way um yeah i think it's a cool release uh definitely got the gothenburg sound on there Next, we have something quite interesting, which is uh, Tumba de Carne. I'm not sure how you say that. Um, uh, but this is on uh, Lava Dome Productions. I guess you could call this like a mini album or an EP or just a short album. But this is really hideously kind of malformed, weird, cavernous death metal. It's very uncomfortable listen. It's very kind of dense and claustrophobic. It's just, it's really good. Um, I had no idea who this band were. I got this. It's got some kind of grindy and noisier parts. So maybe Trom Vir Foul might be a good point to touch. Um, but yeah, definitely listen to this. It's something quite different, I think. And, uh, you know, that's always cool. Definitely a good band to check out. And now the first of some things from Necrolatry Records. who are a really cool label in Malaysia. Um, they... I've been in touch with them because they've had one of the Garden of Ice tapes, but you know, I've got releases of theirs and they are a really great label. Um, again, this CD case is cracked because of the cases that I use, um, but this is Spasticus, um, which is a great name, of course. Uh, you only have to look to see that they're crazy over the top band. Um, people who liked the band Repuked will definitely like this. Um, fans of Autopsy will definitely like this. It's kind of, again, some thrashy death metal. Death thrash seems to be a running theme. But yeah, very old school, um, got that kind of proto-death metal feel. It's really just crazy. Um, I mean, song like song title, like Horror Chaos Death, I think sums up exactly what it's about, as does the artwork. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool band. Um, looking forward to hearing more from this band as well, because I think a uh, lot of you guys who did the really old school death metal will like that. Now we have some more death thrash kind of stuff in the form of Specimen. Um, this is their demo, Born in the Crypt, and then the B-side is Live in the Crypt, which is basically the same thing again, but then playing it live in their rehearsal space, so you can uh, get a cool idea oh shit, um, of what the band sound like, maybe without any kind of uh, polishing. Not that this is exactly pretty death metal, as you might be able to tell. Again, old school gem from Necrolatry Records, who put out some killer stuff. Um, I'm not really sure how many of these places... Um, in the world sell stuff from Necrolatry, but I know they have a fairly good distro network. Um, you can order them from them, of course, in Malaysia. And I do have, I think all of these for sale. I might have run out of one of them, um, but at this moment in time, I have one copy of each of these for sale. The rest have just gone really quickly because people listen to my wise words and buy this cool stuff. Um, and you know, that's why we're all here. Next we have Gorkost or Gorkaust or Gorkaust um, from Finland. Now, Finnish death metal is usually a phrase that makes me go, I'm probably going to like this, and this is not any kind of bias towards Finnish people, although I have some awesome Finnish friends. They just, their death metal always seems to be of the uh, highest degree. And this is a really cool demo, uh, it's five songs. Um, I love this new Necrolatry logo that Scaffalda did as well. Um, that's just a random side note, but yeah, I really like that logo. Um, 
But yeah, if you like finished death metal, it's got that gross, cerebral, bit kind of mournful feel to it. Just really cool stuff. And last of all, we have some Death Grind from Bone Sickness. Now, um, if you like your stuff like Mortician, packed with horror samples, uh, non-slaughter, just thrashy, grindy death metal. It's a really good release, uh, Theatre of Morbidity. Um, I guess for, for a kind of grind-touching album, this could be called an album. It's not super long, but are any of them really? Um, people will know I'm probably not the biggest grindcore fan other than the classic bands like Napalm Death and Repulsion and uh, the kind of entry-level bands, I guess, if you want to call them that. Um, I like some a lot of death metal grind influences like Zizma and stuff like that from Finland and um, Galvanizer, that kind of grindy. See, I like kind of death metal with grind. But I'm, I guess the more punky stuff and noisy stuff might be lost on me. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice middle ground, I think. I really like this one anyway. Now we have some CDs from my friend uh, Darius. Uh, I hope I said that right. Um, from Odium Records, which of course is a cool black metal label. I mean, he's Polish, but I'm sure they're based in the UK now. Um, I mean, I know he's based in the UK. So we're going to talk about these. Um, he sent me three CDs, which are all really good, thankfully. It always makes my life easier when people send me stuff, and it's good. Um, but first, we have the brand new split of Black Altar, which is his own band, and Vulture Lord. Uh, the Black Altar side features guest musicians, including, I think, uh, Thomas from Mork played on that. Um, Vulture Lord is a classic Norwegian black thrash band, um, uh, which is obviously uh, something that's very welcome on the channel. Here we have a uh, cool Nefas, um, of course, also from um, Urgahal and Shadow from Black Altar. Oh, yeah, there we go. Thomas Eriksson did play on this, uh, as well as Necro and James Stewart on the... Uh, Black Altar side and I, you know, I'm being stupid but anyway it comes in this nice evil inverted cross format so yeah a lot of effort's gone into the presentation which is one of those things that I think uh, always deserves the reward um, of people actually listening to it but yeah this artwork rules it comes together very nicely anyway let's talk about the music so Black Altar having existed I think since 96 or something I mean a couple years before I was born even um which shows how young I am. Uh, these are both bands that have existed since the 90s anyway. Um, I've recently reviewed this, and if you want to read that, you'll get more of an in-depth. But yeah, Black Altar is very classic Polish black metal, a lot of emphasis on melody and quite an epic almost. Now, I say orchestral, I don't mean very... It's not symphonic, it just has the way the guitars and drums all sit together is very epic and grandiose sounding. Whereas Vulture Lord completely flipped that on their head and played super ugly, crazy, chaotic, gnarly, black thrash. I mean, it opens with a cover of uh, the Brazilian death thrash gods, Volcano, so of course it's going to be cool. It's just a great little um, split, real uh, black metal, very different bands, but it just comes together really nicely. Um, now we're going to talk about some more Norwegian stuff. So this is another split. Um, these are all splits. So this is Shukabron, which is a... Uh, uh, church fire or burning church i guess would be the best way to translate it and uh visigard um which is not visigard um that's a different thing um as any norwegians following me will know but yeah this is a really cool split again of norwegian black metal uh Shekabron have a more typical kind of uh very raw dark evil feel whereas visigard have a more epic uh, again more melodic kind of feel it's a really cool split. I hadn't actually heard either of these bands going into it as well, which is um, nice, you know, as someone who spends most of their time dedicated to underground music, it's nice when you have something completely new, you can go into it with no preconception or anything like that. But yeah, this is a really nice split. It's uh, called Shikgaard, um, this is the name of the split. Uh, and yeah, it's a, it's a really cool split. Um, if you like Norwegian black metal, check out both these bands. And now, one last split from them. Um, my words really got minced then, but check it out. Black Alter and Shukbron again, which is, um, so you have the same A-side band of with the first band up on there, and Black Alter again. So both these bands, uh, this is a sort of a bonus recommendation to the other two. And each of those were two in one, so you're really getting a lot in this video. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool split again. Um, Black Altar, as I've described, Shukabran, as I've decided, join forces here, something cool. So, do the wise thing and buy these all together. That's what I would recommend. And they look quite nice together if you hold them up as a trio. Hey, look at that, there's a thumbnail right there. 
Um, but yeah, this, uh, they, they make a nice little um, afternoon, couple hours of black metal together. And now let's finish with something nice, light and fun um, after all the evil Norwegian and Polish extreme metal and all the crazy death thrash from around the world. We have Night Cobra who play classic traditional heavy metal. Uh, who put this up? This is High Roller. Of course it was High Roller, probably the best label in the game at the minute was like Dying Victims and No Remorse and Cruise Del Surfer, Trad Heavy Metal. Really fun release, takes you back to the glory days of Accept and the new wave of British heavy metal bands when they injected more melody into their sound. Um, so I had a, like a chest kind of, felt like there was air in my chest then, that was fun. Um, yeah, really cool album, really fun. Um, now we're hopefully coming out of the colder months here in the north. Um, well, not that I'm in the north of this country, but in the north of the world uh, where it's been grey and cold. Hopefully now we can enjoy some nice sunny heavy metal and you know go and do cool things and enjoy being outdoors at least if the world isn't ending um which i'm not going to get into because this is a channel for heavy metal good times and not for us all to be depressed but yeah um hopefully this will put a light feel on your day and you can enjoy night cobra really fun enjoyable cool heavy metal and that is 10 and some heavy metal bands you haven't heard but should i hope you guys enjoyed the video um I'm going to be doing the next Relic Razor video soon. I'm just waiting on a couple bits to come from Brazil. Cause, um, I, I bought some Brazilian editions of things because they were the only ones I could afford. <laughs> so yeah, once they come, we're going to have a massive Relic Razor video. Let me just check on our here. So it's going to be 29 things is currently listed. So it's going to be a huge video. It's all going to be traditional speed, heavy metal. Then the next part is going to have some Black and Death again. But that's going to be a bit further off. Um, but I just wanted to do kind of a big epic heavy metal video seeing as I mostly talk about extreme stuff here. That should be cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, check out the new Death Hammer album. I actually wore this to remind me to tell you guys to check it out. Electric Warfare. Uh, Four-sided long sleeve. Um, if I can move properly. Uh, yeah, really cool merch. And I hope the LP comes out soon because I need this on vinyl. Death Hammer rules. Until next time, stay metal.